Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Noma Factory, GTCEU Hard Mode. Alright, here we are in today, episode 76. So last episode, one of the bigger things that we had gotten taken care of was the assembly wire mill, or the uh, factory wire mill, which I still haven't uh, moved patterns into, but I will aim to do that soon. Yeah, oh wait, I need to go to the teleporter. The other thing that we did was we put up the assembly line. And I really dig the fact that I can have the machine like this. Though I'm not sure if it's going to be practical. I might change it over here. Though I really have no idea why I would need to change it. Okay. Right. So we have a four, we have a four amp energy hatch here. So we can just make a converter and get ourselves the machine powered. Uh, I guess I could just use this for the time being. And aluminum wire, I believe. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so there's that. Uh, how do I want to power this? I guess I can do the cables down this way. Uh, yeah, there we go. And wrench, wrench, or uh, wire cutters. Oh, okay, we're good there. All right. Uh, do I have any conduit on me? I don't think I do. Uh, there are some other items in my inventory that I'm going to be discussing shortly. Um. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, that should work fine, I think. Okay, let me plan this out first. Okay, so I have some item lasers in my hand right here. So as you can see, we're going to be setting them up like this. Oh, really quick, let me turn on something. Recent water ambient. There you go. Okay, uh, back to what I was doing. So you see I'm putting lasers all along the streak here and even so on the output bus, okay? So on the output bus side, we are going to have a interface, right? And while I'm here, I will whip out my... Did I grab it? Laser wrench. There we go. <clears throat> so you can see I shift right click this and then right click that and they connect. So basically, whatever comes into this bus will come into here, and then once we figure the, configure this to extract the uh, item conduit into an interface, it will go back into our AE2 system. Speaking of, um, how's our condu AE2 conduit situation? Good? Okay. Uh, all right. So, wait a minute. Wasn't there? Oh, here we go. All right. I could lay it into the wall like this. That way I'm not obstructing my pathways. So something like this. And if I'm really concerned about beauty, I could get some facades and cover all this up. And as with that, oh, I didn't put the power side of this in in place. Okay. Might need more conduit, though. Oh. Get back up. Okay, that looks fine. Okay. Yeah, I am going to need more conduit. Okay. So, oh, that's another thing that I was going to be discussing. I am going to have to probably make some dedicated blast furnaces to make certain materials so we don't have to wait on the blast melter. We can just have the machines make it overnight when I'm not around. Okay, so let's see. Oh, you know what I need? I need a second unpackager. Specifically for the assembly line setup. Oh, and speaking of that, I requested some osmiridium, which, um, let's just go over to the machine. I basically upgraded the machine right here to take four amps of IV power, All right? So this is going to suck up 32,000 RF per tick. Oh, it's making some right now. So it is taking 27,000 EU per tick. I said RF before I meant EU. 
But that is making Lumium Insignatum, it looks like. All right, so that's going to take a bit of time before we get some conduits. I may have to break, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so we can probably get, uh, let's see, Chris, no, uh, Oh, I guess I need to make the pattern first, this thing right here, because we're going to be needing this to make the automation interface. In fact, why don't we go and try and do that right now? So, oh, wait a minute. I, actually, let me do it this way. Item interface. No. Inter interface. Uh, there it is. So that's not too simple, uh, too crazy. Crystal. Crystal team component. Oh, we need more patterns. All right. So we have, I don't think we've made the Osmerian plate yet, but that's not a problem because we can just hook it on up. Map press. There we go. And the component will go onto the wall. And then we need to make the Automation interface. I don't think we have the black iron frame. Nope. Okay. Get that coded. Let's get. Okay, that's that's working as intended. Okay, so do we have everything for the interface? Oh, we do. Interface. 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 There we go. I can speak. All right, so while that uh, cooks, let's see, where's our unpacked package? There we go. Okay, so we have that, right? And we want to get a conveyor. I don't know why. Well, let's just go with what I'm comfortable with, I guess. I was going to say, I don't know why I'm requesting an arm and a conveyor for what I'm trying to do, but honestly, I could have just used both conveyors but essentially i'm going to be using the conveyors as you will to move items between the packagers or yeah speaking of which we're going to need a crate because we don't have greg tech chests like we used to have in my last season of this game or the pack there were greg tech chests kind of um yeah, they were basically just like tungsten steel chest, a titanium chest, but now they're crates in this pack. Okay, I think that's all we need for the time being. So what we're going to do is, okay, I think crate here and packager here. Oh, I need another crate. Crate here and unpackager there. No. Interface goes at the end here. So basic. Oh, I already have one. So basically, what we're doing here is we're trying to automate the assembly line so that we can make the LUV dynamo hatch as well as the LUV assembler. Okay, so as you can see there, we have item relays connected to each of the relays. And I guess this is a thing that I've learned between packs, or in the last pack, rather. You can just have a straight line like this instead of having like a line where it goes there to there. To, well, let me get closer. A line where it goes from here or here to there, here to there, here to there. So basically to each line. So this is much more clean and much more visually less visually intensive on the calculation side of things. All right, so that should be good. And then here we're going to do uh, boom and boom. Import, no, export one. Import 
on. Okay, so basically... Oh, yeah, right. So I'm going to need... I'm going to need a chest. A, a crate, rather. A crate. I need another crate. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some sort of master crate located somewhere in here. And then we have item conduits that are going to be connected to each of these first unpackagers. And what that will allow us to do, well, I should back up. When we make parallelization for our assembly lines, we're essentially going to be using packaged auto. Um, which is just a, which is a fancier way of making large items. I think we've gone over this before. We kind of started to do, I believe. We have the items here to kind of make the patterns. I'll get into that shortly. But anyway, basically what we're doing is sending a large amount of items as one single item into these packagers, right? And then it will unpackage it and then unpackage it again because you'll see in it, you'll see shortly we're going to be having two packages coming into here which should get sorry back up here one package goes into here and that becomes two packages because it's one package may have two packages and those two packages are essentially two halves of one recipe so then that will come into here and be unpackaged all of the items will be unpackaged and then They should unpackage in here, and then it gets sent into the buses. Okay, that was a mouthful. You'll see more. I, I just realized I had another chest. You'll see more as we get in further into this. So kind of to build on what I'm doing here, I guess what I'll do, I'll start over here, and I'll bring it back. All right, so there we go. So... We'll have an item interface here, basically, to say, okay, this is going to be a location that we're going to send items into. Yeah, because what we're going to do is we're going to be combining the package auto recipes into AE2's patterns. All right, so we'll get to that in due time. Cable, boom. All right, so on here we'll have round robin enabled, active, and that will send into each of these machines here. We also need to get these powered. So do I have any conduit now? I do. Cool, okay, so I guess we'll do something. Like this. Okay, and we're going to be hiding some... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there you go. We're going to be hiding some of these conduits, and I will get to the facades in due time. Uh, let me see about hiding something else that's not power conduit. I had it, and I left to go. Okay. I guess we'll sever that connection, and we don't need that there. Okay, so that looks fine. Wait, can we get rid of the... Yeah, we can get rid of that and connect that like that. Okay, I think that looks better. Okay, uh, so that shall be powered. And it's a good thing I do, I'm doing like this because we're going to be having more of those some packagers as we go along. Oh, that is a question. I'm going to have to plan out how far these need to be apart. Or I might need to move this down one. You know what? Let's do that instead. So we'll do that. All right, and then we'll connect that. And like that, okay? And then boom. That should be fine. So that way, this chest won't connect to any unpackagers if they happen to line up that way. Okay. Um, oh, I still need to connect this power. Okay, there we go. 
Now, you know what? I'll just go all the way here and I will get rid of this bend. And go boop, boop, boop. And because we're probably going to be going that way, we'll do it like this. Okay. That should be good. That is going to be our fluid input. So I'm going to have to figure out if I'm going to need a bigger fluid input hatch later on. I don't know yet. There is a non nuple A nuple? It, it just sounds so wrong saying it. A non nuple input hatch if we need more than uh, four fluids, which we might. So that's the thing to keep in mind there. All right, so then as far as this goes, we'll probably snake this up. Oh, not that. Okay. Like that. And then over here, we will grab a item interface. No, actually, I want the big boy. And we'll probably do something like... Like that. And then, but the item conduits, they'll go out that way. Right? And then they'll come here. So, in that vein, we'll come over here. Oh, darn it. Right now. Okay, uh, no, wrong search term. That shouldn't take too much time. Okay, so assembler, we're gonna need this, and we're gonna need to get into HSSS, uh, HSSS, yeah. Okay, we're, so we're gonna need to get into styrene butadine. Do we even, do we even make that? Soldering alloy. We might need to go be making that. Um, palladium foil. Mm. Okay. So I might need to make some HSS dedicated blast furnace to cook up overnight. So we might not be able to advance um, as much as I thought we would. So at least that's connected there. I guess let me get like a little, well, let me go over here. Can I get it? Something like that. And let's get a good thumbnail there. Uh, where are we on time? 18 minutes. Okay. What can we do right now? Into the microverse. Oh, no. Late game. Here we go. Quantum circuits. Quantum circuits. Okay. IV. Good, good. Okay. So we can make quantum circuits, I believe. So let's go and try and do that. So. Quantum circuit. We want this recipe. I think on the CPU. Okay, we should be good. And clean room IV. IV assembler. IV cutting. Do we not have a regular assembler for circuit? Wait. Oh, we do have a circuit assembler. Okay, well, that saved me some time. All right, so we're going to need a regulator. Probably not going to be a, needing a big boy one, so I'll put that, oh, put that on there. And da, 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 screwdriver, where have you gone? Okay, import, keep exact, and I think we'll go like... Oh, no, not that. We'll go like 300. No, we'll do 500. Yeah, okay. So interface. Bing, bing, bada, boom. Get the cable, and what, what did we need for the quantum circuit again? We need soldering. Okay, I, we should have soldering. Yeah, 
Okay, so that is connected. Good, good, good. Let's get a wrench. And we're not going to, we're going to need it. Oh. We're going to need a interface. Oh, get that in there. Bing, bing, bada, boom. And for the knife, we need uh, CR, oh, C, C, there we go, CR, IV, soldering circuits. Is that connected? Yeah, it's on. Okay, cool. So let's go back home. Quantum circuits. Oh, right here. Okay. So IV or CR. Bing, bing, bada, boom. Okay, cool. So that's going to cook up for us. What's this over here? Oh, let me get rid of that. Get a pattern request. I know we're going to need it. Oh, is that still cooking? Oh, I forgot to automate this. That's the thing. Um, let me get rid of that. I think I, I'm pretty sure I need to fix this recipe because it is derped. Uh, get rid of that for the time being. Diamond. We have a lot of diamond. Gold. I'll get that smelted up. Uh, nether. Then star. Oh yeah, iron. We have a lot of iron dust now. We just need to get the supply of iron to always be there. We had time here. Okay. Okay, almost there. What do we need now? Lapis. There we go. Let's that put that in there. Let's get rid of that. So that should make that request happy. Yeah, I did. Oh, did I forget to set up the... Yeah, let's get in there. Up what? Okay, there we go. So, quantum circuit. Bing, bang, bada, boom. Damn it. Ah! We'll probably get this for the episode. Okay, so that is that down. Can we get the next level up? Assembler, sorry, assembler, here we go. Uh, okay, so it looks like, yeah, that's the next step, logically. Boop. And put that back in there so we can use that. Okay, that should be done pretty soon. So let me go ahead and go the next step up, which is the pro the supercomputers. Nothing new here, I think. And the mainframe, however, is probably going to be a touch harder. Uh, annealed, SMD, HSSG. Eh, it's not that crazy, but we do need to get a supply of HSS metals up there. Uh, speaking of, do I have a blast furnace recipe? Nichrome EBF. So, okay, what I could do is I could request three of these, and it's going to make three EBF systems. It's going to have Nichrome as the coil, but I'll probably have to upgrade that because HSS metals are going to require tungsten steel. So while I'm here, 
Let's go ahead and request up. Now I don't, I know EBFs can be well shared in this, but I believe it's a little bit more annoying to do so. Oh, we already have enough. What am I talking about? Well, okay. To be fair, it's a good point. Wall sharing is possible, but it's a little bit harder in this pack. What with the hatches and the mufflers and all that. We only need 48. So we're good there. All right. So off camera, then I will probably be setting up the blast furnaces. HSS, G, S, and possibly E as well. That would mean I would need to have a passive supply of the dust going on, which again, won't be that hard. I just put that into my auto stock system and that will be good. And then I can limit control the EBFs as I, as I normally tend to do. Okay, so... All right, the quantum circuits. There is the next level. Actually, you know what? Instead of doing that, let me just get the the next circuit. Oh, I'm probably gonna need to get the first tier circuit too. There we go. So that will all get cooked up. And I'll probably use that as the episode thumbnail. Okay, so from here though, now I do need to get the HSS metals good to go. Because we're gonna need the assembler. We're gonna need the hole. Oh wait, no, the hole wasn't the issue. I think it was a dynamo. A dynamo about that. Dynamo hatch for the R engines is going to need the assembly line all right so we're going to need the ludicrous voltage coil which again is going to need an assembler and beyond that the sodium potassium and the sodium alloy do we not have sodium potassium oh we do that's okay that's two words okay that should be fine now oh, the nano cpus might take a bit Right, um, simpler. The emitter is going to need palladium. All right, we need HSS. Oh, we're going to need magnetic samarium. That shouldn't be an issue. Right, so yeah, we, we're going to need a lot of HSS metals, so that would be a good thing for me to get uh, passived. In three episodes. I believe we have niobium titanium. Yeah, we do. Okay. So I guess I could get the, the last of these circuits into my inventory and then we can probably call it an episode. What is the status of the blast furnace? It's not done yet. Okay, so that's a question for me. What power does the blast furnace need? EV. Okay, so I guess I'll request, actually. There's no 4A energy hatch, right? I think it's, I'm just gonna need two. And that should get me, that should get me 2048. Is there two amps times two? Yeah. Quantum. All right, that's still cooking. Looks like it's cooking right now, actually. Nope, oh, there we go. It takes a little bit of time. Come on, baby. How long is this supposed to take? Five seconds? Okay. Not terrible. Okay, there we go. 
quantum circuit. Okay, so I'll come back over here to the wall. There's the achievement. There we go. So that is a good title or video thumbnail. Radio. So how far are we on this? All right, you need the coils. Maybe I should remove the coils from the recipe. That way we'll be waiting on this in the future. But in any sense, uh, we'll, wait, did I just climb over this? No, okay. Any sense, I will be setting this up somewhere back here. Probably over here. Between episodes. And next episode, we'll be able to probably get into the assembler stuff. And I'll probably try to do any uh, quantum circuit replacements on any machines that are possible. All right, so that's going to be an episode. I hope you did enjoy it. I will see you guys next time in episode 77. Ta-ta for now.